Welcome to my channel again, Connie Story Reveal. And today I'm gonna I'm gonna have a newest episode, and it's gonna be puppets. So this is my puppet. I kind of like the sound. It's so cool. It's rainbow too. But anyways. I'm gonna bring it. How is it harder than I thought it would be? So this is my puppet. It's kind of cool, huh? Here's the loud size. This is the loudest one ever. I never knew this was loud. And check this out. This is the lower side. It's kind of a little bit silent, so so use your microphones and let's get started. Pretty cool. It's a stressful little toy. If you want this and you don't have enough money, you don't have enough money. Not much, but enough. If you don't have enough money, you can make it by yourself. I'm gonna tell you, and you can pause or unpause if you like. If you like to unpause, then go ahead. All right. The first step to make this one, we need a piece of paper, scissors, and tape. And if you want to color, then dry. Then use your colors. If you don't have any colors, you can just draw a face and anything. To make this pop it. We need something that is um a little good. Look at this, so cool. Put that away, and here's how you make it. First thing, you need paper, scissors, tape, and colors. First, you're gonna draw a perfect circle around your tape, smallest tape, of course. If you have a ruler that is filled with shapes, then choose the circle one, any circle you like, but not too small or not too big. We just need a perfect size like this one. It's really perfect size, and you cannot use your hands because it might get a little difficult. If you don't have any ruler, circle stuff, or anything. Then just draw with your own stuff, or you need a phone. And if you can't spell, you can use the voice one and add voice like this. Okay, so like this. how to draw a circle, and then find the perfect find the perfect circle that you need it, and and watch till the end. When they are done drawing the circle, you pause it and then you uh, put your piece of paper on the phone and draw on it. And you need a pencil to do that. If you use a marker, then the paint will spread in the paper and some kind of. The phone will be dirty, and your mom is gonna hit you, cause she's gonna hit you. So you can choose anything you want, and when the circles are done, cut them out, and then you draw a line beneath the circle, and then cut the line out, and then fold it, fold it like this. You want to see me fold? We put the 
the first piece on the other piece and then tape it. Tape it together. And tape on the back side as well. To make it perfectly straight. And if the tape gets through the lines, then just cut it a little bit. When you're done cutting the piece of paper, you might want to draw the face. So you can just draw it. If you made a mistake, then it's okay. You can make another one out of another piece of paper. But don't use too much paper or your dad will get angry. <laughs> well, my dad is really angry when I use all his paper gone. So I don't want that to happen to you, dad, because I want you to get safe. So just use only one paper. And then draw the face of it. And do the same as I taught you. And you can just replay it back or anything. When you're done doing that, you will need the outline of it. Like this. Uh, wait here for a second. Here. I mean, this is the board that I use to learn and study. So we need this piece. I'm not a very good drawer, but that's okay. So this is the piece that you made. Then cut them out. Cut and make it straight. And then you will need these pieces again. And put them right here. Beneath the circles. You will need to put this in the circle. Do the same to the other. And you need to tape it shut. And there we go. You have your puppet. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy. And please like. And subscribe. And hit the bell button. See ya. Bye and peace.